a humanoid robot performed martial arts style movements in a video that surfaced on December 12, 2025, sparking immediate global debate about whether the footage was authentic or computer generated. The clip shows Xpeng's iron robot executing fluid kicks and weight shifts and coordinated upper and lower body motions that resemble trained human movement. Let's watch the video first. Within hours, the video accumulated millions of views across social platforms as viewers questioned the legitimacy of what they were watching. Xpeng Robotics, the division behind Iron, developed the humanoid as part of the company's broader push into artificial intelligence and autonomous systems. The company publicly revealed Iron during its AI Day event earlier in 2025, where engineers opened the robot's casing on stage to display its internal mechanics and prove full autonomy. The demonstration aimed to eliminate skepticism about hidden operators or pre-programmed sequences. Iron stood and walked independently while its exposed systems remained visible to the audience. The martial arts video builds directly on that reveal. Iron shifts its center of gravity while executing kicks and maintains balance during single leg stances and transitions between movements without visible hesitation or correction. These actions require real-time processing of sensory data and motor control feedback and dynamic balance adjustments. Most humanoid robots struggle with this level of coordination because balancing on one leg while moving limbs demands rapid computation and precise actuator response. Iron operates with dozens of degrees of freedom distributed across its joints. Xpeng equipped the robot with proprietary AI chips designed to handle motion planning and vision processing and sensor integration simultaneously. The system processes input from cameras and inertial measurement units and joint encoders to calculate movement trajectories in milliseconds. This architecture allows Iron to adapt to changing conditions rather than follow pre-scripted routines. The robot stands approximately 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighs around 154 pounds. Its design prioritizes human-scale proportions to enable operation in environments built for people, including factories and warehouses and service facilities. Xpeng has stated that commercial deployment remains the primary focus with consumer applications considered for later phases. The company targets mass production by 2026 and projects output of 1 million units annually by 2030. Elon Musk commented on Iron's capabilities in November 2025, acknowledging the robot's progress while noting that Tesla's Optimus project continues development. Musk stated that competition in humanoid robotics drives innovation across the industry. Tesla demonstrated Optimus performing tasks like sorting objects and walking on uneven terrain during its own 2025 events. Both companies emphasize the importance of cost reduction and manufacturing scalability to achieve widespread deployment. Xpeng's approach differs from some competitors by integrating automotive manufacturing expertise into robot production. The company applies techniques from its electric vehicle assembly lines to reduce costs and improve reliability. Xpeng produces vehicles at scale, giving it access to supply chains and precision manufacturing tools and quality control systems that translate to robotics. This background influenced design decisions around modularity and serviceability in Iron's construction. The martial arts movements displayed in the December video serve as a benchmark for control system capability rather than a planned function. Humanoid robots must handle unpredictable scenarios in real-world environments, requiring balance, recovery, and obstacle avoidance and adaptive motion. Demonstrating complex coordinated movement validates that the underlying technology can support practical tasks like lifting objects and navigating tight spaces or assisting human workers. Industry analysts note that humanoid robots face significant challenges before widespread adoption. Battery life limits operational duration, with most current models running between 2 and 4 hours on a single charge. Manufacturing costs remain high, though projections suggest prices will decrease as production scales. Software development for task learning and human-robot interaction requires extensive testing and refinement. Safety standards for humanoid robots working alongside people are still being established by regulatory bodies worldwide. 
Xpeng's timeline for iron places commercial units in pilot programs during 2026. Early deployments will likely focus on controlled environments such as manufacturing facilities or logistics centers where tasks are repetitive and predictable. The company has not disclosed pricing but indicated that initial commercial units will target enterprise customers rather than individual consumers. Mass market availability depends on achieving production targets and demonstrating reliability in field operations. The December 2025 video reinforces momentum in the humanoid robotics sector as multiple companies race toward viable commercial products. Boston Dynamics and Tesla and Figure AI and several Chinese manufacturers announced progress on bipedal robots throughout 2025. Each company emphasizes different aspects of the technology, from manipulation dexterity to walking speed to AI-driven task learning. Xpeng's Iron distinguishes itself through fluid motion and integration with the company's existing AI infrastructure. Ion's development reflects broader trends in Chinese technology investment. Government initiatives support robotics research as part of national strategies for automation and artificial intelligence leadership. Chinese companies have increased robotics patents and publications in recent years, contributing to accelerated development cycles. Xpeng benefits from this ecosystem while maintaining focus on commercial viability and manufacturability. The martial arts demonstration video concludes Xpeng's 2025 public showcases for iron. The company stated that 2026 will focus on refining production processes and beginning pilot deployments with commercial partners. Further technical details about iron's capabilities and specifications are expected as manufacturing approaches mass production phases. The humanoid robot market enters 2026 with multiple competitors positioned to deliver commercial products, making the next 12 months critical for establishing industry leadership and proving real-world utility. A robot stands in a laboratory in Warsaw, Poland. It possesses over 1,000 artificial muscles woven throughout its frame. Its skeletal structure mimics human anatomy down to the joints and tendons. This machine can sweat to regulate temperature. Clone Robotics calls it Proto-Clone and it represents one of the most anatomically faithful humanoid robots in an industry that has accelerated dramatically over the past year. Protoclone emerged from Clone Robotics, a Polish company founded in 2021 with a singular focus on biomimetic robotics. The term biomimetic refers to systems that replicate biological structures and functions. Traditional robots rely on electric motors, hydraulics, and rigid metal frames. Protoclone abandons this conventional approach. Instead, it uses artificial muscles made from materials that contract and expand similar to human tissue. These muscles number over 1,000 across the entire system. The robot achieves more than 200 degrees of freedom, meaning its joints and limbs can move in over 200 different directions and angles. Human bodies possess approximately 244 degrees of freedom when accounting for every joint and articulation point. Protoclone approaches this biological benchmark closer than most humanoid platforms currently deployed. The design philosophy driving Protoclone centers on replicating human musculoskeletal architecture. Clone Robotics engineered artificial tendons, ligaments, and skeletal supports that mirror natural counterparts. The hands of Protoclone demonstrate this principle clearly. Each finger contains multiple joints actuated by thin artificial muscles running along synthetic bones. Traditional robotic hands use small motors placed inside the palm or forearm. Protoclone's hands distribute actuation along the entire length of each digit, creating smoother and more lifelike motion. The wrist joint operates through a system of cross tendons, allowing rotation and flexion that closely matches human wrist capabilities. Beyond the hands, the torso and limbs follow the same biomimetic blueprint. 
The spine consists of stacked vertebrae-like segments connected by flexible actuators. This structure permits bending, twisting, and subtle postural adjustments. The shoulders and hips use ball and socket joints, similar to human anatomy, granting wide ranges of motion. The legs incorporate muscle groups that work in opposition, flexing and extending to generate walking movements. Clone Robotics designed the feet with multiple articulation points, enabling balance adjustments and adaptive responses to uneven surfaces. Protoclone integrates advanced sensors throughout its body. These sensors monitor tension in artificial muscles, angles of joints and external forces applied to the structure. The data flows into AI control systems that process inputs and generate motor commands in real time. This feedback loop allows the robot to adjust its movements dynamically. If Protoclone lifts an object heavier than anticipated, sensors detect increased muscle tension and the control system compensates by recruiting additional muscle fibers or altering grip strength. This adaptive behavior contrasts sharply with older robots that execute pre-programmed sequences without real-time adjustment. The artificial muscles themselves rely on materials that respond to electrical signals. When current passes through these materials, they contract. Removing the current allows them to relax. This mimics the electrochemical process in biological muscles where nerve impulses trigger contraction. Clone Robotics has not disclosed the exact composition of these artificial muscles, but similar systems in robotics research use polymers, shaped memory alloys, or electroactive materials. The advantage of such systems lies in their compliance. Unlike rigid motors that push and pull with fixed force, artificial muscles can modulate their output smoothly, creating motion that appears organic. Protoclone also incorporates a thermal regulation system. The robot can sweat, releasing moisture to cool its components during operation. This feature addresses a practical challenge in densely packed robotic systems where heat buildup can damage electronics and reduce performance. By mimicking biological cooling, Clone Robotics achieves a dual purpose, maintaining operational efficiency and demonstrating the versatility of biomimetic design. The AI control systems governing Protoclone interpret sensory data and coordinate muscle activation across the entire body. Traditional robots often separate perception and action into distinct modules. Protoclone integrates these functions more tightly. The AI learns patterns of movement through training, adjusting muscle recruitment and timing to achieve desired tasks. This approach aligns with developments in machine learning, where models improve performance through iterative experience rather than rigid programming. Clone Robotics positions Protoclone as a platform for exploring human-robot interaction and advanced automation. The company suggests applications in healthcare where robots might assist with patient mobility or perform delicate procedures requiring fine motor control. Service industries could deploy such robots in environments where human-like dexterity and adaptability offer advantages over specialized machines. Domestic settings represent another potential market, with robots handling household tasks that demand versatility and gentle manipulation. The broader robotics industry in late 2025 shows accelerated movement toward humanoid platforms with sophisticated sensing and actuation. Tesla continues developing Optimus with units deployed in limited factory trials. Figure AI launched Figure 03 in 2025, marking a significant iteration beyond their earlier Figure 01 platform. Figure 03 incorporates enhanced vision systems, improved manipulators, and faster processing capabilities for warehouse and manufacturing environments. Boston Dynamics maintains Atlas as a research platform demonstrating agility, balance, and complex locomotion. These efforts share a common thread, pushing robots beyond narrow task execution toward general-purpose machines capable of operating in unstructured environments. Protoclone distinguishes itself through its commitment to anatomical fidelity. While Figure 03 prioritizes operational speed and task completion in industrial settings and Tesla's Optimus focuses on scalable manufacturing and cost reduction, Clone Robotics emphasizes biological realism. This choice carries implications for both capabilities and limitations. A robot that moves like a human may excel in tasks designed for human ergonomics and spaces. 
It may also face challenges in scenarios where non-human designs prove more efficient. The value proposition depends on context and application. The scalability of Protoclone's design remains an open question as of December 2025. Manufacturing over 1,000 artificial muscles per unit introduces complexity and cost. Traditional robots benefit from mass-produced motors and standardized components. Biomimetic systems require custom fabrication and assembly potentially limiting production volumes and driving up prices. Clone Robotics has not publicly disclosed timelines for commercial deployment or pricing structures. Performance metrics for Proto-Clone include its degrees of freedom, muscle count, and sensor integration. Clone Robotics reports that the robot can perform tasks requiring fine manipulation such as grasping fragile objects or assembling small components. The walking gait appears smooth, though speed and endurance figures have not been specified. Protoclone operates within a competitive landscape where multiple approaches coexist in December 2025. Figure 03 demonstrates how quickly platforms evolve, moving from prototype to third-generation industrial deployment. Clone Robotics emphasizes biomimetic design, while competitors prioritize speed, strength, and AI autonomy. Whether this biomimetic path proves superior to the conventional architectures of Figure 03 or Optimus depends on performance in diverse applications and cost-effectiveness. The robot from Warsaw challenges assumptions about what robots must look and move like, offering a vision where machines adapt fluidly to human environments.